Hello everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. As you know, I just came back from Japan and just catching up with all the news and speculation right here in North America. And one of the most exciting and fascinating story is a 2024 Toyota Tacoma story. But at the same time, there's much confusion because different media is reporting different stories. And you might be a little bit uh, confused as to exactly what is a real story and what might be just a speculation. So today I'm going to demystify everything for you about this upcoming 2024 Tacoma and tell you everything that I know so that you know exactly what to expect for this new generation of 2024 Toyota Tacoma. First of all, I want to let you know I have created new rendering for the Tacoma front and rear. And also we just received the interior leaked photo. So these are some of the really interesting discussion we're going to have. Uh, but let me start from the beginning of the story here. As you know, we have seen this patent drawing of the Tacoma recently, but it's not quite clear as to exactly what this was. The, obviously the Toyota emblem was missing. The headlight area doesn't look right, uh, although it does look a lot like the one that Akio Toyota showed as an EV model. Uh, and then the front wheel actually looks pretty good. It, you can tell this is obviously a Tacoma or Tacoma related product. Um, but things like the fender, the wheels, everything else looks kind of vague and not very clear in this patent drawing. And so this is the one that have uh, really started all the speculation across the media, uh, including this rear photo. And there's also a side and a front and a back. Uh, but um, things just do not look right uh, on this um, photo or rather the images. That's why I'm updating my rendering. Uh, all this stuff has to be worked on, so the rear window, the rear tail lights, the profiling, all that stuff was fixed up in my rendering. Uh, but one thing that was uh, very confusing for a lot of people is this rear door, because this door seems really small. Uh, so my suspicion is that this is actually the access cab and not the double cab, because double cab door would be larger. Uh, in the current 2023 model, the access cab rear door is really tiny. So I suspect that um, the rear door for the new 2024 Tacoma access cab is actually larger. And that's why uh, it looks much larger in this pattern drawing, uh, but it's too small for a double cab. Uh, if you look at the double cab today, it's got a decent size rear door, although a lot of people still complain that uh, rear spacing is not sufficient. And, and I can only imagine that for 2024, they will make the rear door even larger to make the rear passenger area more spacious. So that's why I'm very convinced that this is not a photo or image of the um, double cab, but instead it is one for the access cab, which is actually good news because it means that even in the access cab, you get a decent uh, leg room, hopefully in the back, because the door is obviously longer. Um, now this also explains why this uh, small window in the rear uh, part of the cab is so tiny, because typically speaking, access cab style of truck, at Toyota, they have a smaller window that slides to left and right, as opposed to a larger one that you find in double cab. So that kind of all fits in with the story. I don't think anyone has pointed this out, that this is likely an access cab pattern drawing and not double cab. Uh, but there's a lot more to tell you about the 2024 Tacoma, so keep on uh, watching here. Uh, and that includes the fact that um, there's confusion about why this pattern drawing was uh, originated in Brazil. And in Brazil, they actually don't sell the Tacoma, they do sell the Hilux uh, truck. And so a lot of speculation said that maybe the Tacoma will show up in Brazil, or maybe this isn't the Tacoma, but this is the Hilux image. Well, none of those are correct because you actually can find the 2022 Tundra, the new version of the Tundra, also in the patent drawing in Brazil. And they don't sell the Tundra in Brazil either. What does this all mean? Well, it simply means that Toyota likely tried to uh, create the pattern in all of the major countries, including North America, Asia, and Europe. But only Brazil accepted the pattern and ultimately approved it for this pattern. Because it's very difficult these days to have any image 
approved and certified as patent uh, in North America and some of the main countries. It's just uh, not something that they do easily anymore. So when trying to get as many of the patent or sometimes trademark as well done as possible, uh, you just end up with a more lenient country like Brazil accepting it. And that's really the only reason why you f are finding this drawing in um, Brazil patent and not in the US or anywhere else simply because Brazil is a little bit more lenient to accept this patent. Now let's go back to the rendering I created uh, from the patent drawing and let me explain to you what I did to make this rendering much more accurate. Obviously I added the uh, Toyota emblem in the front and made sure that the front headlights both left and the right side are looking more uh, authentic and more real. I made uh, some changes to the lower bumper here to clean up and I replaced the wheels and the tires. Now I just happened to pick bronze wheels just because they look good with this uh, white paint. Um, in the real model maybe we won't get the bronze but I also cleaned up the um, defender uh, area here to make it look more like a normal Tacoma and then uh, cleaned up the rear tail lamp. So uh, the overall profile is, uh, hasn't been touched because I am assuming that the pattern drawing is correct. Uh, looking at the rear, which is a three quarter uh, angle, I've cleaned up the tail lamp here and made sure that it's reflective and looking more authentic. Uh, as um, in the first diagram, I also replaced the wheels and tires with the bronze ones here. I made sure that headlight look normal and uh, everything else is pretty uh, untouched. Uh, and uh, just kind of again, noting that this small rear window is due to the fact that this is probably an access cab. So I've created the rendering in a variety of different colors, including this yellow color, which might be called the same name as in the TRD Pro, which was electric line. And it looks actually pretty good in this uh, color combo. Uh, and um, it, you can have different backgrounds here to give you a flavor for what it might look like. Here is a dark gray one or magnetic gray, and the color doesn't show up very well, but you get the idea for what it might look like. Here's a rear uh, three-quarter view with the magnetic gray. Now, while I don't mind magnetic gray, I think in this particular rendering, the red color looks really good. It makes the uh, Tacoma kind of stand out. And I really like this particular image that I did uh, because it just kind of goes along with the new design and a new modern feel. Here is a rear view as well. Once again, the red exterior, bronze wheels, which is a nice combo. By the way, we did talk about the powertrain for 2024 Tacoma before, but just to clarify, my speculation is that it will be the 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine that will be in the new Tacoma, just like it was announced in the 2023 Toyota Highlander. And I'm going to also assume that there will be a hybrid version, but that will likely be offered with the Tacoma TRD Pro and maybe one of the flagship, which could be a limited. Uh, Cortex could introduce a new flagship called the Platinum, just like in the Tundra. Some people have also said that this uh, pattern drawing could be one for the next generation to the Hilux instead of the Tacoma. But the reason why I know that cannot be true is because the Hilux is in a different life cycle. It's about two to three years behind uh, Tacoma. So uh, while we get the 2024 Tacoma this year, I think the new Hilux will not come out for at least two more years possibly three. So that's why I am very sure that this pattern drawing is of the Tacoma and not the Hilux. Now let's move into the interior because we just received these um, leaked photo of the interior of the Tacoma just literally today. And you can see that uh, so we got some interesting uh, situation here, including the full digital instrumentation, most likely 12.3 inches. Uh, and then you can also tell that the steering wheel looks a little bit different on the 2024. It looks actually thicker from, to me. And you got the nice bump there, um, as well as perforated leather. Uh, so this maybe could be a TRD Pro or TRD Off-Road. Even the column um, here looks a little bit different. And the screen looks a little bit small in this photo, but I'm almost certain that it's a new 14-inch screen, similar to that one that's used in the Tundra. You can see the vent sticking out on the left and right as well. So it's really well covered, so you can't see a lot of the design features, but at least we can confirm that the new Tacoma 
should have a digital instrumentation, which is no surprise, and also a 14-inch large infotainment system. So those are some of the exciting things that we can see from this leaked photo. Uh, and then just to finish off, let me sh uh, show you some of the uh, also recent uh, photos of the outside of the 2024 Tacoma. The only thing is the grill size and the headlight size uh, do not seem to match the ones that we see in the patent drawing. So I'm not sure which is um, the one that's a problem here. Is it um, spy photo that's in inaccurate or is it the patent photo that's inaccurate? That's a bit hard to say, but you can also see the access cab door in this photo as well. It's a very small door, but larger than the current one. Um, yeah, so these are um, basically all of the spy photos we have now seeing for the Tacoma. And it's very exciting because I think it's only uh, a few months away when we get to see the actual Tacoma. Oh, here's a rear photo, by the way. You can see that uh, tail lamp exactly like the one in patent drawing. Um, but anyway, coming back to the launch date, I think it'll be April, May time when they might reveal uh, at least the pre-production model for us and then maybe end of this year for the actual final production to roll off the assembly line and for us to get a hold of one either at the dealership to take a look or to test drive one. Uh, so those are some of the very exciting news for 2024 Toyota Tacoma. What do you guys think? Um, if you can give me a thumbs up, make some comments, and if you can subscribe as well, that'd be great. Um, because it's a lot of interesting story coming out this year for Toyota's, not just Tacoma. Uh, so let's stay in touch. And for now, I'm going to sign off. Thank you so much.